Today we're here at Lifetime Photo and Video, and I'm here with owner Jay Grossholtz. Um, just first, I want to thank you for being part of the East Brunswick program. You were a shop program. You were one of the first people to do that, and we totally appreciate that. As you know, that's a program for residents to take part in where if they shop in local merchants, which we're trying to support, that any tax savings that they get from discounts you can provide get accumulated in an account, and that at the end of the year, they can go and use that towards property tax reduction, which is one of our number one issues in the township that we're trying to uh, address. And secondly, uh, in order to keep small businesses, as you know, 80%, approximately 80% of all businesses uh, in the country are small businesses. And while we drive up and down 18, we sometimes get um, mesmerized by all of the big businesses that are parts of chains and large companies. But the backbone of this country is small businesses, and we want to do everything we can to help promote those businesses. And that's why we're here today and, and are thankful that you're part of that program. If you could just talk a little bit about where you're located, hours of operations, and a little bit about of the, the type of work you do. I'm looking around at some of the photos, and, uh, and they're beautiful. We're located at 14 Appleby Lane, East Brunswick, New Jersey. We're a third-generation family business, been in business for 54 years. My dad started the company actually when I was eight. Uh, my son is the third generation. What we do, we specialize in weddings, social events, bar mitzvah, bat mitzvahs, corporate, family pictures, anything really that needs to be captured on video or pictures, we can do for you. Our hours of operation are Monday through Thursday, 10 in the morning until 8 at night, Friday and Saturday, 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And I want to thank the mayor for giving me the opportunity to be part of this wonderful program. I remember back to the times when I had uh, my bar mitzvah and weddings is that you don't see lines of people sitting up and just uh, a quick picture of everybody in a row. There's nice scenery, even when there are lines, it's, it's interesting and it's, it's different. I want to talk a little bit about um, the technique and, and, um, and uh, what you use to try to uh, make these pictures so unique and interesting. A lot of it just has to do with the personality of the photographers and personality of the individuals that we're photographing. We still do a lot of traditional style pictures because everybody still wants those but more and more people are wanting more and more artistic or creative poses creative backgrounds creative lighting and all of our photographers are all trained in knowing how to handle that particular situation and we give what we do we call it a blend of photography where we give them a lot of both traditional and non-traditional images so that it's more interesting for everybody to look at. If you just line them up like the mayor said, basically in a line, honestly it gets to be boring after a while. You want to see creativity where it's more interesting and everybody will look through it and be wowed by it. The, um, and also like the idea that you're a, a family business and been in town for a long time. I want to talk a little bit about um, your roots here in East Brunswick, how long you've been here and your family a little bit. We've actually been living in East Brunswick since 1987. My children went through the school system at Irwin, Hammershall, Churchill, the high school. Um, my wife was PTA president. She was quarterback club president, band president of the marching band. So we've been very active in the community all those years. Our children then went away to college and the East Brunswick school system uh, equipped them fabulously for college. They both were very successful. My daughter's a college professor. My son actually teaches here in town at Chittica Elementary Schools and a football coach. So our roots have been here for a long time and will continue to be here. Um, I think it's a wonderful place to raise a family and run a business. The, um, I even remember back to my years when I was uh, growing up in my own hometown, and it was the small businesses that when you went to a baseball game or you went to the basketball games or when you went to anything that was being sponsored, it, it wasn't the name of the big companies that you wore on your chest. It was the name of the small businesses, and that's where, um, where small businesses become such a integral part of the community and so um, I thank you so much for being part of the program and and most importantly for being such an important part of the community I think that's a it's a it's a lesson and an example for others thank you very much thank you